Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Toth. Today we're Tasting Wine. We are trying Martin Codex. It's, uh, you know how to say the varietal. Uh, well, I don't want to say it wrong. Albarino. I thought it was Abernino. There is an L in between the A and the B. Is it not silent? I, I don't think that the L is silent. Um, I could be wrong. She doesn't know. We don't know. Uh, it's Spanish grape. I do know that. Twist off. It makes it so much easier. I know. I'm really digging the twist offs recently. I like them and I don't. For like expensive wine and like some red wines from certain areas, like if I buy a California cab for a decent amount of price, I don't want to come with a twist off. Something bad. I just don't know if it allows aging. You know. Yeah. I mean, like I've heard, you know, like oh, twist off is usually like associate associated with like less quality of a wine but i've heard that like a lot of like really good wineries are doing twist offs now yeah they're like more well, eco-friendly and stuff i mean eco-friendly yeah but like the the cork grows mm. it smells great this you have to dig out of the dirt and process you know the, tr it's the, the tree yeah it looks as recycled but the tree grows and most cork is sustainable it's a sustainable tree i found out that 50 percent of the world's corks come from portugal Pork forest. Interesting. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm on both sides because this, yeah, I mean, maybe unless it's recycled, but I, I know there's different qualities of recycled, with, like what can be recycled and things like that. Yeah. So this has like green melon. Mm. Well, I guess it's just called melon at that point. Peach. Um, peach. <laughs> uh, I was going to say peaches. pear. Peaches. I don't get that much pear on this one. I get like pear skin, mm. not like actual pear, but like pear skin. Yeah, this, this is great. I really like this. I wonder what we can find out of it. What does it say? I wonder what the alcohol content is. 13%. Jackfruit. Wow. Doesn't this smell like jackfruit? It does have that jackfruit. It has that uh, has that membrane in the jackfruit. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever that is, that unedible part. Oh, man. <laughs> the unedible part. Well, yeah, you, you ever had jackfruit? Yeah, that's how I know what it smells yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, have you ever had jackfruit? It's jackfruit? like, it's funky. It's funky stuff. It's huge, big fruit. Huh. Wow, yeah, that smells really nice. Yeah, 2018, and what did I say, 13% alcohol? What is it, 13? Yeah, 13% alcohol. Nice. A Spanish grape. Um, did you try it or no? No, not yet. I was like reading something about like it likes, it, this type of grape thrives in the rain and the mist. So yeah, it likes a lot of wind. There are a lot of rain. It makes a lot of wine. They water the wine. Yeah, with, with wine. wine. <laughs> That's funny. It's got really nice acidity on the taste. It's got. It doesn't have a like super fresh taste, but it's got definitely acidic for sure. But it definitely has a good amount of acidity. Hmm. It's kind of like on the taste, you know. Like I don't really. Yeah. I don't really know. It's kind of here and then gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I wouldn't say it's bad. Maybe it needs, maybe this is a wine that needs to be drinking more at like a room temperature, like warmed up a little bit. Mm, yeah, because I can't really pull out like mm. too, too, too much. Which makes um, me think that maybe it just needs a little bit of time. To warm up? Yeah, to warm up. Maybe just swirl the glass, heat it up. Are you doing it? Wake up! Because the smell is the smell is great, but it yeah, doesn't... it smells really nice. Was this was it expensive? Is this an expensive wine? No, it was like twelve bucks. Oh, okay, well, it's not 10, bad. 10, 12 bucks. No, it, how many notes? What does it say? Oh, wow. man, it has some it has some weird fun flavor in there that I don't know what it is. So it says it has notes of pear, passion fruit, and apple. Oh, fun. Okay. You're trying to get. And you should have it with oh. It, it is also known as the wine of the sea. Is it close to the coast? I think so. Hmm. Um, and I guess you're supposed to have it with seafood. There's some in the middle. The finish, mm. it's longer. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's got something in there that's really interesting. Don't know what it is. I don't know what that is either. Right? But isn't it interesting? It is interesting, like, yeah. Are you being serious or no? Yeah, no, I'm being oh, serious. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what it is. So I think we just gotta come back in a little bit when it warms up. Yeah, we should do that. All right. This is warmed up, and to me, yes. it smells, or, or it tastes, still has the same smells, but. <laughs> kind of smells like pizza. <laughs> it tastes like lemon sherbet. 
That's what it is. This is sherbet ice cream. In the middle, that whole middle section mm -hmm. is all like lemon, maybe some mango. It's like a variety of sherbet that all blended together. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll admit it's like because like in sherbet. Sherbet's like kind of like tart and it's not really like creamy and stuff like that. Mm. So it is, it's kind of like tart, but also a little sweet. I can, I can see the lemon. Um, yeah. So when you think of it like that, it's like you're drinking sherbet, you know, and that's always a fun thing to do. So Sherbet does have like a distinct smell I think it's or a distinct taste. Yeah. I mean. Oh yeah. But I, Both, I guess. but for this one, I wouldn't, I'd say it's good. I wouldn't say it's amazing. I probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, yeah, I think we've had um, other ones that like I just like better. Yeah, but as like we've only ever had three of these varietals. True. You know, so we are new to it. So I mean, you have also to do, you have to do a lot of exploring to figure out what you like, what you don't like. You know, all that stuff. You know, you can't yeah. you can't judge an entire varietal by one label. You could take this to a party or over to a friend's house. You know, and I think people would be happy. Oh yeah, everyone would be stoked. It is not bad by any means. It's not like sour. It doesn't, you can't like taste alcohol. It's, it's a very enjoyable wine. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. You know, it's right. great. I would say it's in our top three. Top three. It is in our top Get three. Get it, because we've only had we've three. We've only ever had three. Yeah, well, we were a wine club member at a California winery and they came out with this varietal. You know, I'm saying varietal instead of saying the word. Yep, I know, because uh, we're just gonna keep butchering it. <laughs> but that was the first time I'd ever heard of it, you know? I know, and then we tried so. it, and it, gosh, that one is magnificent. Didn't we do, did we do a show on that one? No. no? no. Oh gosh, no. that one is so good. So yeah, if you're looking for more white wines that aren't sweet, that aren't your typical white wines, go down the path of this varietal. Albarino. Albarino. No, that's you're saying two ends. There's not two ends in there. No, I don't know. <laughs> Anywho's, uh, if you've had any other uh, wines of this varietal, let us know because I'm not allowed to say the word anymore. Um, <laughs> I would love to know more, honestly. Uh, I'm very intrigued by this. Anywho's, thank you for joining us here at Taste of Wine. Get out there, taste some new wine. Let us know what you're trying. If you've had anything like this before, let us know what's your favorite Spanish great varietal do you have yeah. one i don't know do you have any favorite wines from spain uh let us know uh and yeah we'll see you on the next one. We oh. come out with oh, yeah. videos yeah. on monday wednesday and friday smash mm -hmm. that subscribe button smash it oh yeah <laughs> cheers, cheers.